there's something gotten into the fishermen that wasn't in them before. And I think they've lost something. You just wonder how long it's going to last. They get bigger and bigger engines, 500 horsepower, and then the, the next fellow that gets a boat, he gets 600 horsepower, and he beats his fellows, and uh, that's how it goes. Fishermen now have a harder life than they ever had in the past. A young skipper now has tremendous responsibilities. He's running a 100,000 pound boat, he's trying to pay it out, he's trying to keep his crew going with a big pay, and, and they must have a big pay nowadays. And he has a lot bigger problems to face than they ever had in the past. And they content now, just money, money, money in a way, and they can't connect the shore, off they go. Bigger catches, bigger costs, mere and fair expensive gear. To pay for it, we hate to catch, mere and mere fish every year. We are power block and fancy nets, your mortgage and your heavy debts, and an overdraft that must be met. We're bound to bundle the hair and go. Now it's 20 years since I myself have been shouting about conservation because I could see the writing on the wall in large letters then. I was right on the spot, I was on the fishing grounds and I saw this taking place. We warned her on board, we threw our producers associations, we talked about it a lot. Nobody listened and the scientists were always inclined to be against us. Now that's not just the case now because the scientists and there's different opinions among them themselves Quite a lot of them agree with this idea that the, that he has been overfished. And it was this new uh, methods of fishing that was responsible for it. We reap without sowing, don't we? But we do it in a damn stupid way that, that we don't get half the benefit we might. If we could learn how to reap this wild harvest properly, that would take us 50 years to do that. But eventually, as we probably shall have to cultivate the seed. But I don't think there's anything done in the cultivation line. I can't see anything being done in the cultivation line. Come away then, herring buyers. 60 crown exactly. How much? All in six to the crowns. 670, 670, 80, 680, 690, 690, we're all down 690. Enemy seven pounds, seven pounds, seven pounds, ten, seven ten, seven ten, we're all down seven tens and twenty, twenty, seven twenty, seven thirty. If the powers are beating, I can't put something on the other night, we can do it. Seven thirty. The fishermen's need the powers are beating. No, no, it's, uh, it's higher than that. Enemy for forty, seven forty. But I mean, it's not only in this country, you see, you've got this additional fleets from Norway and a huge fleets from Holland and Germany and France, and they were the most efficient. Great big boats. They just denuded the sea. Now, we could see then, fishermen could see then, that, that, that Yarmouth had not very long to go. And year after year, it grew scarcer and scarcer until finally there was none at all. And then we turned to the west coast. We had to turn somewhere. And now if the west coast goes, well, I would like to know what we've got to do next. The mere fish that are caught the day. Millions and millions and millions. When the little people swim up properly, they really do it. The less the morons catch will be. Well, I would like to know what we've got to do next. And when the seas are off fish too. Now where are we going? We can go where we like. We got the whole sea. Who will earn their fee? Don't want that time to come back again. Battery ships, mercy nets, trees and plant they kill the deck. Sooner and their arty sets, they're here to plunder the hair and know. Well, I'll get five years at the nest. I think that uh, we have a good chance in the next ten years, and that's the time that we have in the common market, after we get the common market to consolidate the position. I would say that the government, in conjunction with the 
selfish in interests, would need to work out a plan which would maybe extend over 10 years, a conservation plan for the West Coast fisheries. We're nets and gear, we're fairing On the wild and wasteful ocean It's there on the deep that we harvest and reap our bread as we hunt the bony shoals of hair. Neither men nor ships were spared. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. As we waste the wild crop of the ocean. Sowing no seed in the sea for tomorrow's dinner. We may see shows of care and... See you, Monday, 7 o'clock, sure. Right, they want you. Really, right? <laughs>